this 113th Congress has been extraordinarily eventful. It started off with Republicans trying to topple John Boehner, We've had a government shutdown, near debt limit breach. What else you got? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, I think that actually the biggest legacy, at least on the Senate side, is Harry Reid's decision to invoke the nuclear option. I mean, this is so significant. Change the rules. Change the, rules. the Senate is a living thing. And to survive, it must change. He just did it on nominations, and that, that eased the way for dozens and dozens of the president's picks, judicial and executive branch, but it could have much broader implications for how the Senate actually operates. It's one of the huge, huge things we'll remember. The rest of the things we'll remember were probably things that they didn't accomplish right. and then the crises that they provoked. Will McConnell continue the uh, nuclear option next Congress? I think that's a big question going forward. He does not want to, uh, he, he, it's going to be very hard for him to change the rules back to 60 votes for the filibuster right now. It seems, as people have said, and I think as he has said, it's hard to unring that bell, and I think that's what we're going to see right now. And, and another huge thing on the House side was Eric Cantor's stunning defeat in a, a June primary to Dave Bratt. Look, obviously we came up short. It basically reordered the entire House leadership structure. You have Kevin McCarthy now poised to be the next speaker. John Boehner, who's sticking around for at least another two years to uh, kind of guide the ship through the storm. Um, and that's going to be a huge legacy item for House leaders because right. they have to pay more attention and to their district. who's the successor to John Boehner, assuming he steps down maybe next Congress, maybe or after Or the Congress, Congress after, yeah. yeah well, I mean, is Kevin McCarthy really the successor for John Boehner? I mean, that's... He's uh, in line, and, and that's all that matters at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, someone might, someone else might sprout up. Um, Paul Ryan has said pretty definitively he does not want it. We're going to see a lot of change in the next couple of months uh, with Republicans in control the of the Senate. The question will be how quickly does it snap back? I mean, to my, craziness. The craziness, because maybe they do have to deal with the debt ceiling in March. They do have other We big think the debt ceiling will go into the fall, though. That's the most recent that's projections possible, we have. It's possible, but you know, it can also happen. It'll also be a question of how exactly do they deal with that. Right. Uh, they'll have to deal with the, the immigration fight early on. What does that mean for funding for Homeland Security programs? Be That'll be messy. There will be a lot of uh, messy fights early on. In addition to that, McConnell has said that he's going to change the way the Senate operates, have regular work weeks, five days a week. We've seen what happened in the last several years. It's been about three-day week session. People see when he go resorts back to the heavy-handed approach that Harry Reid started to do at the end of his tenure as majority leader.